So, you don't know how to customize your UI. Not a problem. In order to customize, you must go to Preferences, Config, and enable the custom mode. Once custom mode is on, it will glow orange, and you can hold Control, Alt, and left click literally anything wherever you want. And we are going to start with the custom mode button itself. So from now on, anytime you want to change your UI, you don't have to find it in the menu anymore because it's going to be right here. The next thing we'll change is in Preferences, Interface, and turn white buttons off. Normally the brush buttons look like this, but when white is off, it makes them into perfect squares which saves a lot of space which is awesome because if you have favorite brushes you can stack more of them where it's easy for you to reach if you hold control and left click drag these menus over here can actually be scrolled around which means you can actually add custom buttons and it's okay if they don't fit because you can just pan around to reach the ends zbrush also has some hidden areas that you can use to store more things if you need it you can double click here or here and you'll have more space to play with and on the left and right sides there are arrows which you can double click to reveal more more shelf space which you can't drag buttons into but what you can do is drag in menus you'll notice that each major menu has a circle arrow next to it and if you left click drag that into these side areas you'll have easy access to that menu at any point if you want to remove something from your UI just control alt and left click drag it into empty canvas now a super useful thing that you can do is make your own menu if you go into preferences custom UI and create custom menu just give it a name and it will appear up here when you click it it will organize itself into alphabetical order and from here if you drag it to the side menu while holding control and alt you'll be able to drag any button you want inside you can put brushes you can put buttons or even another menu if you hold control alt and drag a new sub palette to your already existing custom menu you will have a new area which you can fill up with other things to rename a sub palette just hold control alt and left click it this is a really great way to organize things that you feel should be together and once you have created the custom menu you can drag that menu anywhere you want for example, I've created my own custom menus for my favorite brushes. So I have a menu for weapons, a menu for armor, a menu for belts. Really all the brushes that I would need for my fantasy characters are right here. Also, it is possible to drag buttons on top of each other. You might notice that these two buttons are actually overlapping and ZBrush is okay with it. Just be careful where you click. When you are done customizing, make sure you turn customize mode off. And if there's anything in ZBrush that you wanna create hotkeys for, like let's say that you duplicate things all the time and you're tired of needing to click in the menu to find it. Well, if you just hold Control, Alt, and left click that menu option and type whatever key you want, I'm just gonna press D. From now on, every time I press D, it will duplicate whatever I want. If you start assigning a new hotkey but end up changing your mind, just press Escape. And when you're done and you want to save this UI and send it to a friend under config, save UI. But if you want ZBrush to remember this UI and always start off with this screen every time you open the software, make sure you hit store config. And you'll have to do the same thing for your hotkeys. So if you want to share them, save. But if you want to make them default, make sure you store them. And that's basically everything you need to know about UI in ZBrush. Hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.